Good afternoon. Welcome to Grand Cass Airport on St. Martin. This is the mighty Cessna 152 November 4753 X-ray. Today we are continuing our search for lost Caribbean airports. Let's turn the fuel on. Let's go rotating beacon on. Mixture rich. Carb heat is cold. Master and battery switches on. There is no fuel pump. Crack the throttle a quarter inch. Make sure the propeller area is clear. Engage the starter. Good start. Magneto's back to both. Check the oil pressure. Oil pressure is coming up. And the RPMs are good. 1100 ish. Alright, let's go nav and strobe lights on. Let's go taxi light on. Let's go 122.8 for our communicating pleasure. The rest of the good citizens of the Eastern Caribbean aviation community. 122.8. Alright, we're going to go aeronautical and traffic here on my four flight. Go US VFR sectional. Let's go VFR sectional. Alright, so uh, it's kind of the VFR sectional chart of this area is pretty pretty kind of uh, overrun with with stuff. Alright, so let's check the weather zero, winds are zero zero one one. 1016 on the QNH. There's 1016. Alright, uh, let's engage the brakes, or at least the parking brake. And let's try not to run over this fine gentleman here. <coughs> test your brakes, always test your brakes. Let's lean the mixture for taxi. We also forgot to do that. Um, okay, pull the power back here a little bit. Let's see here. Grand cast traffic Cessna 4753 X-ray taxiing to runway 12 via taxiway Alpha Grand cast. Hello. So this is again part of the uh, <coughs> excuse me part of the St. Martin package. Uh, this is Grand Cass Airport. It serves the French side of the island of Grand of St. Martin. A uh, really cool little airport. Everybody flies into St. Martin. Few people know about or care about Grand Cass. It's a really cool airport. Um. One of the neat things, well, a couple of neat things about it. When you're approaching the land here, you come in over the village of Grand Cass, like literally, literally right over the top of the village. Um, and uh, let's see, I don't see any traffic on final. I don't see any traffic on the runway. Grand Cass traffic, Cessna 4753 X ray, back taxi runway 12 for departure, Grand Cass. So now we're going to turn our taxi light off and our landing light on. We want our landing light on to make us as to make us as visible as possible. And one thing I've noticed in Flight Simulator is the turning radius of the aircraft is somewhat ridiculous. Like I would think a Cessna 152 can make that turn without almost going off the side of the runway. Uh, the other cool thing about this airport is the ATRs that take out of here, take off out of here. It's the only commercial runway in the world where AT, where aircraft back up on the runway. So what they do, the ATR, I, don't know, I think they're ATR 72s, ACR, ATR 72, 42, whatever. They uh, they come down here. 
they circle around, line up, and then whatever amount of runway they've lost by doing this turn, they stop, put both propellers in beta and literally back up to cover that remaining distance so they've got the full length of the runway for taxi all right let's see here okay heading indicator checks with the runway number mixtures rich carb heats cold and feet are off, toes are off the brakes takeoff power is coming in Takeoff power is set. Engine instruments are in the green. Airspeed is alive. Grandcast traffic, Cessna 4753 X ray, departing runway 12, departing to north. Grandcast 65. <laughs> that was a fuel truck. I got it and hit that. And rotate. So. I mean, Microsoft continuing with their absurd uh, habit of having motorized vehicles on active runways, like, constantly. It is a constant problem. And it's just absurd. So there's the airport. It's really cool. And there's St. Bart's over there. And our airspeed, eh, we're at 70, but that's fine. I don't mind getting... Good amount of, uh, clearance here. Grandcast traffic, Cessna 4753 X-ray is on a left turnout off runway 12, climbing through 1,000 feet, Grandcast. Alright. Now we can definitely, let's push the nose down here a little bit. 70 is a little bit slow to climb. So, which lost Caribbean airport are we searching for in this part of the world, you may ask? I'll tell you here in a second, because I'm going to level off 1,500 feet. This is not going to be a real long flight. be 50 feet below our intended altitude, push the nose over, get down to level flight, and make a power correction, or make a power change until we hear a will drop in the engine power. Okay, so now let's look over here real quick and that nah, wasn't quite 2400. We'll pull this back a bit more. And uh, there's the gorgeous island of St. Martin. Way off there in the back. In the background is Juliana Airport. So, where are we going? Well, we're going to make a left turn here once we get past this cloud a little bit better. We are going to an island just north of Anguilla called Scrub Island. Scrub Island is a part of Anguilla. There is that really a lost airport because I don't believe it was ever a functioning, an actual functioning airport. But it is, does have a, uh, a runway. We should turn the pitot heat on. Because uh, we are in visible moisture. That's all clouds are, is visible moisture. Clouds are nothing else, nothing other than visible moisture. Pretty 
pretty cool views, huh? Here is the beautiful island of Aquila. Water is looking spectacular today. Uh, right off over there is Aquila Airport. And just up here off the north east end of the island. is Scrub Island. Scrub Island is apparently privately owned. Pull the power back here and, uh, and descend a little bit, get below these clouds. Um, Scrub Island is privately owned. Now, I read somewhere yesterday, see Anguilla Airport right there, Clayton J. Lloyd International Airport. Um, I read somewhere yesterday that this was used for drug trafficking, this, uh, this runway on Scrub Island. I really have no idea, or no way to really verify whether that's true or not. It seems like kind of a weird idea. I don't know. I don't know why you'd really want to ship's about to hit the other one. Don't quite know why you would want to use a deserted island. I don't know. I guess the idealist in me would like to believe that Scrub Island was not used by drug runners. And that there is some perfectly reasonable other explanation as to why there's an airstrip here in Scrub Island. However, I could be just plain wrong. There's a, there's an airplane out here. come out and take like day tours I guess and I think I can see the, the strip from here actually I think we're coming in straight basically straight out it it's kind of right there Beautiful island harbor over there on the far side of that little island is in, the, in that bay, in that harbor, island harbor, and that's where my good friend Warren has his restaurant, the Falcon Nest. You go out and sit there on the uh, sit there at a picnic table and have yourself a cocktail and a nice uh, Caribbean rock lobster. By the way, if you didn't know, the Toyota Yaris is an extremely effective off-road vehicle. We, uh, 
we've driven, I don't think I've driven out quite this far in Anguilla, but we've driven like on all these rocky, wacky roads, dirt, you know, really big boulders in the middle of the roads and all kinds of obstacles and such. That's the strip right there. You see that green strip? And uh, and the mighty Toyota Yaris. It's sort of the Cessna 152 of, of rental vehicles. Um, and if anybody who rents cars on Anguilla sees me telling this story, they're never going to rent me a car. But, uh, good old on the car pee here. Good old uh, Cessna 15, uh, Toyota Yaris. So, I do believe that's definitely what we're looking for. Uh, it'll be, I think that white spot right there might be the, airpo the airplane that's been abandoned. Can't be sure. Is an abandoned airplane. Yeah, it's probably, I think that's probably it. There is an abandoned airplane here. I am going to do, look at this. What I am going to do is I'm comfortable landing there in the mighty, mighty Cessna 152. So. So, pardon the interruption, that was my girlfriend asking me if I can bring her some bread that she made for her, for her friend. Anyway, um, I am comfortable making this landing here in the mighty Cessna 152. mucky day down low here isn't it it's kind of weird uh, I think we're good in terms of we're on a basically a perfect downwind here I think the end of the island here is gonna be a pretty good place to turn base So I'm going to put in a notch of flaps, push the nose down a little bit. Yeah, push the nose down a little bit is what I said. Carb heat is on. Come around to that six is on the left hash mark. We're going to put that second notch of flaps in. I'm going to bring the power back. 1700 keep that nose down because airplane is wanting to climb uh, airspeed is coming down nicely all right so Mixture is rich, car pee is on, flaps are set, airspeed's pretty good, the wind is, let's see, the wind feels like it's coming out of the right, a little 
that. It certainly is. If <laughs> you see how we're just never never quite getting over there. Which is fine. Alright, let's get ready to dance on these rudder pedals here. Let's see if I can hit the crest of this hill as opposed to into the side of it. Um, not sure that was the greatest landing in the world. It wasn't too bad, really. I mean, I probably should have tried to be a little bit more gentle. Um, rather than just creaming it into the, uh, to lean the mixture. We definitely want to put in the carb heat here, because the carb heat, when you've got the carb heat on, what that does is, um, lets unfiltered air into the engine, which you really don't want. So, this is Scrub Island, and I'm trying to figure out, okay, I think the runway kind of goes over here, yeah. So, uh, this is a little bit weird, but this is actually pretty cool. Um, you can see the dirt coming up. See that? From the... <laughs> that's really neat. So I think the airplane that I'm talking about is right over the edge of this. I mean, we're not going to see it. I think it was that white speck that was on the ground. As we were flying over. But look at this. Scrub Island. Kind of cool. Uh, I think one day what I'm going to have to do is come over here and do a drone camera flight. Do a drone camera uh, trip here. Hope this airplane is a rental because. I'm, I'm pretty much abusing this thing. So, six is about what the runway number was. I'm going to need full throttle just to get up this hill. Sorry about the fish bowl effect here. Of zooming out. So, runway six. Mixture is rich, carp is cold. Once I crest this hill here, we're going to go full power. Take off power is set. Engine instruments are in green. Airspeed is alive. 60 knots. 65 and rotate. I think what I really wanted to do there was a short field technique. That's what I really should have done to reduce the abuse that I just... Look at that water. I mean, how cool is that? To reduce the, uh, the abuse that I just put this plane under. I mean, look at this water. I mean, it's just... That's... Uh, I really... I'm just super impressed with, with some things in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and the water is one of them. I mean, it's just unmatched in any other flight simulator. And I'm going to stall and crash if I don't get in here, so to speak, and start paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, I mean, look at that.
Look at that. Just amazing. Alright, so let's go. I mean, this is just... I, I'm blown away by this by the scenery in this in this flight simulator. I really am. And we'll make a power adjustment until we hear a reduction in engine power. And we'll just trim the nose down a little bit. CJ Lloyd traffic, Cessna 4753X ray is 10 miles to the northeast, uh, inbound, full stop runway 11, CJ Lloyd. So, back we go. So you can drive all the way out here on these, these dirt roads. Um, that's Grand Casa over there in the background where we, where we left from. And uh, let's just push the nose down here a little bit. Trim. So there should be a plane landing into Anguilla right now. It, it, uh, flex jet something. So 1015 on the altimeter here. There is a one zero one five. There is Island Harbor. Everybody say hello to Warren. And the good folks at the Falcon Nest. I've got a video of that place, that harbor, on my uh, on my channel where I will actually walk out on this pier. Falcon Nest is like right there. Uh, highly recommended. Uh, I believe up here we're coming to. I don't. I don't know. There. So I go to like the local places on this island. I don't really go to the the super touristy places. I think I can't remember the name of this beach right here. We came over here once, it's nice. But big resort and not not a big resort rather, but uh it's a couple little restaurants, I can't remember the name of it. Some good snorkeling right here. Uh a couple nice restaurants and you can uh Rent a beach chair, kind of hang out. Anybody who's ever been to Anguilla could tell you what that beach is called, but I just can't remember. Um, and it's like the one that everybody talks about. Ooh, have you been to Blub? It's nice, don't get me wrong. I just like... I like Rendezvous Bay, which is over... on the far side of the island over there. That's where uh, the Sunshine Shack is. Um, I wonder where Little Bay is. I think Little Bay, the only time I ever went uh, scuba diving my entire life was in Little Bay on Anguilla. And I think it's over where those boats are. It's really pretty neat. So, this is not how you would fly a pattern. There's no traffic. Make sure there's no traffic. Uh, Anguilla traffic, Cessna 4753 X ray on a two mile left base, runway 11, Anguilla. Somebody tell me if you know where Little Bay is. Carpe on. Somewhere over here, I think. 
is uh sandy ground a couple nice bars and restaurants in there the salt pond in Anguilla where they used to uh, they used to pick salt literally and that was a big industry in Anguilla the 50s and 60s well up to the 50s and 60s and a lot of people made their living that way I went and did it once um, with my friend Yasvik owner of Anguilla Salts and Sands I'll repeat that if you didn't hear it. Owner of Anguilla Salts and Sands. Clayton J. Lloyd, traffic, Cessna 4753 X ray on a uh, mile and a half final for runway 11. Clayton uh, CJ Lloyd. Um, and let me tell you for the 45 minutes that I did salt picking. Uh, I got bloody hands. It was really hot. Although hot, hot in the in Anguilla is like the greatest thing in the world. Anywhere else, extreme temperatures and humidity annoy me. But in Anguilla, it's like the greatest thing in the world. Make it as hot as you want. I don't care. Um. Aiming for the thousand foot markers here. Got to kind of keep it high coming in here because it's really turbulent. Alright, airspeed is good. That was kind of flat. It was very flat, actually. Lean the mixture, put in the carb heat. We'll meander on down to Taxiway Bravo here. Wait to clean up the airplane until we get off the taxi, until we get off the runway, rather. CJ Lloyd traffic, Cessna 4753 X ray is clear of the runway, CJ Lloyd. That's a big fat lie. You're not clear of the runway until you cross this line. You have to dash over the dashed line. When, when the entirety of your airplane, including the last inch of the tail, is over that line, then you are clear of the runway, and not until then. Let's put the flaps up. Mixture is lean, car beat is cold. Let's turn the landing light off and the taxi light on. And even the even the vehicles, these trucks are accurate for what they are at the airport. I don't know why they're driving all over the place, but Yeah, you got your Anguilla Air Services. I think I parked the wrong way. I think I was supposed to go the other way. Sorry. Alright, let's put on the brakes. Mixture to idle. Cut off. Throttle is idle. Engine comes to a stop. Let's put on the parking brake. Let's turn off the lights. Let's turn off the pedo heat. I left that on. Let's turn off the magnetos. I don't know why that one never turns off. And let's turn on, turn off the master and battery switch. So that I think was pretty cool to go over and see Scrub Island. That's really neat. This is where we took off from right over here. So uh, fun times and 
Let me know if you know of any lost Caribbean airports that we can go searching for.